Rob and I have with me Scott Whiteside. From, uh, we're here with Tr RV Travel Buddy and RV Travel Quest. And Scott is a good friend of ours for many years. Many years. <laughs> many years. And I, I got the calculating it. It's actually 17 years. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. So he, Scott owns Central Oregon Satellite Solutions. And the reason we wanted to do this show is because he is a trusted friend and business person that I've done business with for years and I had him put in our new satellite system and then if you want to know anything about satellite systems I can guarantee you Scott is the man <laughs> I appreciate that <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you what we got and then I'm gonna let him tell you about the configuration and why we do what we did but we put in the tailgater 2 yes and we put it into our fifth wheel and our concern was we didn't want to put a satellite on the top of our RV due to the fact that if we got stuck under trees or anything like that, we wanted something mobile. But when you do that, we have there's pluses and minuses. And so from this point here, I'm going to let him tell you about our system. And as he goes, I'm sure you're going to tell us the ins and outs of, you the, bet. of the fact that we're mobile and other people aren't. So Correct. Anyway, so let them know, uh, can you tell them what we did? Sure. We put in the Tailgater 2 with a DISH uh, VIP 211 receiver. Uh, when you're in an RV, you've got several options. You can go with the standard DISH that goes on your house on a tripod that you have to manually point yourself. And I call that the divorce maker. Because <laughs> usually you've got one person inside screaming and yelling that you've missed it, you've gone too far, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. You can go with an automatic system that goes on top of your coach that you just push a button and it does everything itself. But those range anywhere from thirteen to $1,500 plus installation. And then if you're traveling and you're parked in an area with a lot of trees, you're sort of stuck. You're stuck behind a tree and you're going to lose signal. The tailgater is a perfect option for all your situations because it's mobile. You get to pick it up and move it wherever you want. If you need to move it away from the coach, you can. Um, but it self points. Well, once you set up your dish, you plug in your satellite receiver, and you're done. Uh, by the time you've got your awning out and your coach leveled and a cocktail poured, you've got dish TV knows this too, and right? nothing else. Yeah. Now, the one thing I asked you about that is <clears throat> you always think that you always have a cable for your signal and Correct. then power for the motor that's in it. Correct. In this case, you surprised me. You said because we only had one one cable going to the unit, and it's just the coax cable. That's right. The satellite receiver powers your dish, which is in the same situation as it is on your house. But this one, it actually powers the motor and the tailgater for the pointing mechanism. Okay. So my next question is because uh, these are questions that came up as we were going. Is Sherry and I realize we're not in our RV and we chose the tailgater because and there's pluses and minuses to that. So one of the questions we asked you about is can we get on demand or can we record things? And because of the particular satellite we have or the tailgater, we are limited to a different type of receiver, is that correct? That's correct. The, the tailgater will only work with a 211 series receiver, which is not a DVR. And the DVR receivers are what give you access to video on demand. You can get pay-per-view with these um, if you're plugged into a phone line or you have internet connection, but not video on demand streaming. Um, but you can add an external hard drive to the 211 if you want to turn it into a DVR so that you can pause live TV and record while you're not watching. Um, so now the, one of the other things that came up, and we just kind of threw this out as, as he came back for this interview, is um, the tailgater, and we've shown you pictures on the screen here, um, can be sat on a picnic table, can be put on a table, on the ground, whatever, but we're kind of concerned about putting it on the ground. So uh, what I'm going to show everybody on the screen right now is um, you can get tripod systems that you can actually set the tailgater on. Yes, I've seen the tripods. Uh, after or there's other companies that make racks so you can mount them onto your ladder um, onto a window um, and these the tailgater 2 can actually be mounted on top of the coach if that's the way that you want to go 
Okay. Um, so <clears throat> the other thing that was really neat is, um, and I actually didn't ask you this ahead of time, so sorry. <laughs> what and, and you have some really good things, and this is I'm going to say your opinion, but it's actually an educated opinion. What were some of the biggest differences between DirecTV and Dish that I would be concerned me or our beer? Well, uh, one of the biggest ones in the Northwest is that DirecTV doesn't offer the Pac-12 networks. That's a big one for my area. Dish Network does, uh, DirecTV does not. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the equipment and the customer service with Dish far surpasses DirecTV. Um, and usually with Apples and Apples, the programming prices with Dish, in my opinion, are always less expensive than DirecTV. Okay. Now, before I ask you more questions, if everybody hears a funny noise in the background, it's because you guys know that we're, we are real people when doing RV in the real RV and the whole, Cinder is enjoying a bone off to the side and you might hear crunching away on that. So I apologize for that, but this <coughs> is real life. So, um, uh, so before we go any farther than that, one of the things on Dish Network um, that actually made us very happy because everybody's been a victim of satellite packages and, and cable packages and the prices going up all the time. Can you tell them a little bit about the new locked-in price program they're doing? Sure. Uh, new customers now can qualify for a three-year price guarantee. So DISH promises that they will not raise your rate for three full years. Um, it used to be where you would sign a two-year contract you would get price protection for one year and then play, pay the normal rates that everybody else pays. Um, now you can lock your price in or get a price guarantee for 36 full months as a new customer. Now, um, the other thing that was kind of neat was when we set up our program is we got, um, we're actually in Central Oregon staying at Sherry's folks and they have Dish Network here. Mm -hmm. What was really neat is we were able to use his referral program for us uh, so he could get 5% uh, five dollars off for how long? 10 months. 10 months. And that also gave, we get that discount That's also. correct. Uh, as an existing customer can get a referral certificate and a new customer would get $5 off of their monthly bill for 10 months. The referring customer gets $5 a month off of their bill for 10 months. And under one of Dish's programs, if an existing customer uses three of their refer friend certificates in a quarter, there's usually some kind of a gift or a promotion that the customer will qualify for. Uh, in the last several years, I've received an iPad free. Nice. I've received wireless headphones for free and I've received a PS4 for free, all for using my referral certificates. So it's a great opportunity for you to lower your bill and to get a gift from Dish. Well, it's, yeah, well, it's all about the gift. It's all about the gift. <laughs> great. So, uh, as you probably noticed, we've talked about Central Oregon here a lot. Um, can you support people beyond Central Oregon? Oh, you bet. We've got several customers that are, that are all over the country. Um, you can order through us. Um, and I can get the equipment, get it activated for you, and then ship it to you wherever you're at in the continental United States. That's awesome. He made the process really easy. And and for those who are wondering where Sherry is, Sherry is in the room. She's just helping with the uh, video. And we're both smiling. We're very happy, as we always have been with Scott when he helps us with DISH programs. Uh, I know you've helped us. Uh, in the past, I used to live here. He's done our system. To this day, I would I would not refer a person at all if I if I would question them at all. Um, there's just some people I do business with or done business with that you just know will treat you well and treat others well. So I hope that's a good referral for that's you. That's good. I'll take it. I'll take anyone I can get. Um, so there's a really good suggestion, and this is a. RV tip that you gave us the other day. Yes. I don't think we'll use it, but sure in the heck you say, oh, I'll never have to do that, and sure in the heck something will come up on how to do it. seen it a hundred times. He was telling me that, like with the Tailgater 2, let's say you need to cross it across a dirt road or wherever you're camping, 
because you're trying to get clear of some trees or something and you're afraid of people running over the cord you had a great idea for that which was you just carry an old garden hose with you about 20 feet and then if you do have to cross a path or cross a road you run your cable through the hose before you hook it up to the dish and then when cars can come by they don't damage your rg6 cable I mean, it's I mean, it's just way too easy, but it's, it's like, simple. it's a great idea, and I'm sure right now I'm going, I don't think I'll ever use that, and then I'm thinking, you know, sure in heck, the next place we go, I'll have to do that. <laughs> a lot thought, of people do. I thought that was a wonderful suggestion, and one of the last things I want to talk about before we end the show here is a lot of people when they're traveling, you have, you know, there will be places we go where the satellite's not going to work. Maybe I just got too many trees around me, all that things. However, I could still pick up an antenna system signal. So what's your suggestion about should we keep the antenna on our RVs active? Yes. What happens when you travel with satellite is the government regulates which local channels satellite companies can provide you with based on your home area. And when you travel out of your home area, your satellite signal for those local channels will be lost. So you incorporate your antenna into your satellite system. So no matter where you're at, you can get your NBC Nightly News, Dancing with the Stars, all the local broadcast television in whatever market you happen to be in. Just do an antenna search on your TV or straight through the satellite receiver every time you move and you'll always have local channels for the market that you're in at the time. Nice. Well, hey, that's all the time I got right now. And I, I, him and I could talk about this stuff forever, and it's fascinating. But um, on the screen, you're going to see his phone number and uh, call pretty much on any business time of day, right? Anytime. Okay, and you can support outside of Central Oregon. I can. You know, there's people out there that are gray and they do things out there that you need to trust and especially as an RVer you never know who we're gonna get if you're gonna get a dish network or have questions or want to modify your system please call Scott he's he's an upfront kind of guy so once again thank you for visiting the show I appreciate it this is Scott everything you need to know about Scott's business is in the description phone number is on the screen thanks for watching everybody bye now hey thanks for watching our video don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist, RV Travel Buddy, which is tips, resources, and services, RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences, RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future, the insane RV360 videos, our amazing RV.TV, where amazing stories come from our viewers, and last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.